Ladies and gentlemen, it's that time. Time once more for another game. 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 It's a game of Would You Rather with our guest, Matthew and Bree. And so our first question, Matt, Ooh. as you can see here, is rolling on the screen as our production truck gets it ready. Would you rather, in this game, would you rather go back in time and play at Woodstock or go back in time and play at Live Aid? Ooh, that's tough. You don't have to follow Queen. You do <laughs> oh, I can I can be main support to Queen. Yeah, you don't have to follow. You can be main support. <laughs> Heavy. I don't even know. I'm. I think the edge goes to Woodstock. Okay. okay. So so I could try the brown acid. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough, man. I I feel like I've watched so many documentaries about both of them. It would be hard for me to choose, but. I think for Janis Joplin, I go Woodstock. I, I think I go Woodstock, but that's right. She was yeah. Woodstock, right? And you know what else too? Like the Grateful Dead, by the way, Grateful Dead performed there and like there's no footage of them because apparently there was some issue like with the, I don't know if it was the camera, they ran out or something, but the Grateful Dead performed a whole set and you've never seen any of it. So it'd be, it'd be cool to see that. Ooh, ooh. And also, also um, Jim, Co uh, Joe Cocker, a little help from my yep. friends. One of my yep. favorite performances. It's just mwah, chef's kiss. All right, here's the next one. Would you rather transform? <laughs> <laughs> God, this graphics. Transform into a walrus via the movie Tusk, or transform oh, into nar. a werewolf. I guess via American Werewolf. Um, okay. Well, I have some questions of the parameters of this transformation. Okay. <laughs> Is okay. this a permanent transformation or? No. Um, I guess we'll say once a year. Once oh, a once, year. Once, once a year. Okay. And how long do I remain this other mammal? 24 hours. Mm. 24 hours. Okay. Mm. So I've got to break it down here. <laughs> would I look like this walrus creature or would I be an actual walrus? <laughs> well, so that one's just in long. Um, so it would be like you, but in that scenario, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you so I'd like look that. just like this hagged, like bizarre. Oh, have you not hybrid. seen Tusk? Okay. No. Oh, no, I told thanks. I told you before, kid. I'm 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 kind of lame when it comes to horror movies. Although okay. we can talk about some awesome horror movies that I do like, but that's a whole other okay. thing. Yeah. Um, I think I would probably tur turn into a wolf because then I could go like Teen Wolf style, ride okay. on the top of a van, like dunk on people from half court. Hell yeah, great choice. Or the guy who showed his his dick in the end scene of that movie too in the bleachers. No one knows what? about that. All right, Wait, moving on. No, not a problem. <laughs> Was what? it an extra? It's an extra true. Guy? If you look in the end scene of the basketball scene, when uh -huh. he shoots it, like in the crowd, there's a guy standing on the bleachers who zips his pants down and like pulls it. What? Okay, well, I know what I'm watching tonight. Dude, is that like some like uh, it's some underground stuff that like no one ever knew? And it's not really like you don't like see, you know, it's in the background, but something's happening. You're like, this dude's definitely showing his dick. So, <laughs> so it's like some little mermaid priest boner. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> So yes. like it's so it's it's still in there to this day. Is what yes, cool. maybe in cool. recent copies it's been like edited out, but mm -hmm. in there are copies for years that existed with it. Yes. Oh, there's been an urban legend that at the end of Teen Wolf, one extra flashes his. Okay, all right. I found the YouTube link. All right, gonna, wa <laughs> gonna watch it. Out. <laughs> You're welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. This for my oh, balls. My <gasps> life has been enriched. That's fine. That's fine. You're welcome. Ooh, useless information. All right. Next. Oh. Next up. Would you rather, Heather? Why don't you take this one? Too? Sorry, I'm looking at it. Okay. okay would cool. you rather cover a song from the first album you ever bought, or cover a song from the first band you ever saw live? Oh, easy, dude. Cover a song from the first band I ever saw live. Which was? Well. My my parents will probably dispute this, uh, but the first the first real concert I ever went to was Almond Brothers and Tom Petty. Mm. When I was seven, my dad took nice. me to the show, and I remember um, some guy in the crowd passed my dad a pipe, and for a split second he thought about hitting it, but I was staring at him, so he's <laughs> like, "No, I'm good," and like pass it pass it along. <laughs> I, I guarantee he doesn't remember that, but like it stuck with me. I was like, what is this? It doesn't smell like tobacco. <laughs> that wacky tobacco. I was like, I like this shit. No, like but it, um, yeah. <laughs> it's either it's either that concert or Raffi. But either way, I'm down. <gasps> Raffi. Yeah. Baby Beluga? Banana yeah. phone? Oh, no, no. Fuck Baby Beluga. I can't hang okay. with that song. But the other oh, yeah. ones. 
Cool. Uh, the, I got the whole world in his hands. Right? Hey. That, yo, Rafi yeah. slaps. Oh, man. One, two, yo, three, four, him. five, six, seven, eight, banana phone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, Everyone I'm, wants I'm, a banana phone. Everyone wants a banana Ryan. phone. I'm listening to Rafi tonight. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. So excited. Oh, Hell yes. yeah. Rafi. Okay. Okay. All so, right. Next what, up, would you rather? <laughs> keeping it moving. <laughs> would you rather? Never have your guitar go out of tune, which would be helpful, or never break a string on your guitar. Seems to be the culprit. <clears throat> I'd rather have it never break a string on my guitar because going out of tune is cool sometimes. Okay. I like okay. It. I like the justification. Cool, cool. All right, here's the next one. Would you rather never be able to listen to music from the 60s or never be able oh. to listen to music from the 80s? Oh, can't even I can't do either of these. <laughs> Both ways you're bummed. Uh man, that's rough. I'm I'm gonna say oh <laughs> yeah, th this one's I can't, I can't, I can't. It, I can't. Is, is there a thing where you're like allowed to pass on like just one? Like you get like a no, it's okay. I'll, it's okay. It's a game. I'll play. Okay. 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 I, I'll, <laughs> I'm just being dramatic. It's okay. <laughs> Add into the, uh, you know, whatever. Um, I, I'll, I'll, I'll get rid of the '80s because I can't hang it without the '60s. There's like so many of the you goats yeah, that I wouldn't go. The '80s would be rough though because then I can't listen to "That's All" by Genesis. I can't mm. listen to <gasps> "Got that My Mind Set on You." I got mm. my mind set. Oh, such a good song. Yeah. 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 But th those great. are gone. Those are out. Those They're are gone. out. But those let's, are see, out. let's see if the, that, with the 60s, that means I can't listen to any Sam Cooke record except for his the, the religious one from 1959, which is also sick. But it, no Sam Cooke, no Buddy Holly, no Hendrix. No, I mean, come on. No Beatles. You lose all, you lose all the yeah, goats. No Beatles. Not a single no. Beatles. By the way, check check this shit out. Hold on. Okay. Stand by. Stand Checking. by. See? Oh, Whoa. cool. Okay. There's quite a bit of Beatles album literature there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's my, it's my mom's uh, I'm in my mom's Beatles room. She has a room? She has a room, a Beatles room, and I'm in it. I got <laughs> I got the uh, oh. There's my little submarine. Oh, yellow submarine! Dude, we got a sick look. Check this out. Oh, hey, oh. hey. hey. Josh, where's your Beatles stuff? No. Uh, it's oh, downstairs, okay. actually. I have a record I bought at Walmart, a Beatles record. I'm not ashamed. You know what I mean? I'm not ashamed. I'm honest. This is a record rare. <laughs> Why would you be ashamed? Nothing to be ashamed about. <gasps> I've got, oh, I made this in second grade. <laughs> And it it's, looks right. it's still there. It's last of the test of time. That's right. Paper mache. What do you know about paper mache? Paper bro? mache. <laughs> Was it, is there like a is there like a paper towel tube in there? Is that what it's constructed? Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. I don't remember. You have to go ask Mrs. Newman. Okay. Shout out, Miss, yeah. shout out Mrs. Newman. We actually have her on tomorrow, so we'll. Um, oh, sick! Yeah, she's yeah, we'll great. Cover that. She's like, we'll cover that. She's the, one of the top three all timers for me for sure. Hell yeah. All right, Josh, you want to take the next one? All right, would you rather, my friend, would you rather be the first musician to do a concert from outer space or the first to perform a show underwater? I'm going underwater because I love mm -hmm. the ocean. Yeah. And it would be sick to set up on, like, the Great Barrier Reef, you know? It would be like a benefit for the reef show. And everyone's playing so, in the bubble. Wait, hold on. I have a question about the parameters again. Okay. Can I now breathe underwater? Do I get you to, am I like a Poseidon type creature now? I will offer you two, two, two ways. I'll offer you the Poseidon like gills when you're an amphibious creature mm. who lives and can mm. breathe the oxygen out, Aquaman style, or we'll construct a dome out of magic entities that'll, that'll let people hear the music, but you'll still be in the dome with the air. Ooh. Oh, wow. Cool. Luxury. Cool. Like that Bonnaroo, cool. taking care of our people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I appreciate that, Josh. Whoa. Good looking out. Good looking out. Um, yeah, I would take the Poseidon gills for sure, especially if you could like <laughs> shield them, you know, like if you could just look normal, normally. 
because then you'd be able to just explore the sea, just full, just go full Ariel style, you know, be on the on land, on the sea, still have a voice, you know, yeah. best of both worlds. As long as Ursula um, doesn't come for you. That's right. Oh, <laughs> dude, when I was a kid, those the 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 Garden of Lost Souls, you know, like the ah, like the little buddies, I could shrink them down, take your soul, and yeah. shrink you down. That was the scariest shit to me when Terrifying. I was a kid. Terrifying. Terrifying, <laughs> terrifying, and I didn't like floats and jetsum either. No, no, no. Mm -mm. no they they, were scary no. eels. Yeah, they were scary for sure. <sighs> All right. Well, we got <laughs> two more of these, so here we go. Would you rather write a concept album about conspiracy theories or write a yeah. concept album about cryptids? I kind of already wrote a concept album about cryptids. If he answered that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, they're both dope. Shuffle I think I'd, I'd prefer, yeah, I'd prefer the one about cryptids, um, okay. but the concept album about conspiracy theories would be super dope too. Just like, especially if you're just making fun of the shit the whole time. Talk about okay. going down a rabbit hole though. That has to be uh, some stuff. All right, Josh, you ready to take and it And lastly, home? final question. Uh-oh, this one's hard. Would you rather, this is another thinker, would you rather be able to have a conversation with Jimi Hendrix or Freddie Mercury? Jimmy or Freddie? Oh, man. All right, I'm going with Freddie because mm -hmm. I was at Woodstock where I would have already chilled with Jimmy for sure. We would have taken LSD together. We had a great <laughs> trip. It would have been wonderful. So I, I would like to go back and hang out with Freddie. Mm -hmm. I have a lot, lot to ask him. Plus, I heard in, as he was an epic partier as well. It would be pretty cool to, to go hang out. I, I mean, more than anything, I would want to be – like just to be able to chill and hang out at the studio when they made Night at the Opera. Oh God. Yeah. Like for real, I would give years off of my life to be able to go and experience that, you know? Yeah. Well, like cool. what was the vibe in there, right? When that was yeah. going on. Yeah. Just Man. excellence everywhere. Oh, excellence. And like bleeding it, radiance like the, bursting through the walls. And <laughs> yeah. yeah. I can't and talk about one of the greatest albums of of our existence that is just yep yeah well, that's top five all time for me no question 